when a loved one dies, your life is shattered, just like this flower pot is shattered. A lot of children have come just so broken, so low, so afraid, and by the time they left Bo's Place, you would not believe it was the same child. Bo's Place is where children who have experienced the death of a parent or sibling can come with their families for free grief support in a warm and safe environment. Named in memory of Bo Nyhaus, who died when he was 12 years old, Bo's Place was founded on the belief that children need to share with other children in order to heal. I don't feel like I'm alone, knowing that there's more people out there just like me. We're all different people, but we all have the same, we have something in common. After her husband died from cancer, Helen brought her two young sons to Bo's Place in search of support. We were just trying to survive. What they found was hope. The other people provided hope by their example. They got through a dark moment. Maybe I can get through this dark moment too. Bo's Place grief support groups meet twice a month in the evening, matching children with others their own age who have experienced similar losses. When children lose a parent, whether they're five years old or 15 years old, one of the difficulties is who do I talk to about this? Do I talk to my surviving parent? Well, and certainly that's one of the places you want to be talking and that's a great place to start, but that surviving parent is facing their own bereavement and sometimes only another teenager or elementary school kid can speak to your heart really directly. Both place is a safe place to grieve, to be upset, to talk about your loved one without people feeling uncomfortable because they don't know what to say. Adult facilitators work with each of the children's groups, guiding them through grief healing activities and drawing them out. My first day of junior high and him not being there was really hard because like I'd The more they talk about the story, the more they can accept the story and the more that they can go on from there. Sharing experiences and concerns isn't the only healing technique used here. Worry, anger and frustration are normal reactions for children who have lost a loved one. At Bo's Place, children have the chance to physically release stress and anxiety in a safe and healthy setting. The tornado room was just heaven to them. By the close of each evening, the impact of Bo's Place support is clearly visible to parents. Every time my children came into that room, they were just, they were so light and so happy and it was just, it was like a load had been lifted off of their shoulders. The opportunity to make a profound difference in the life of a grieving child is what attracts many of Bo's Place volunteers. I just was so excited that there was something like that for children, especially since I had lost my own mother at a young age and didn't have anything like Bo's Place. Each volunteer facilitator completes extensive training before they are ever assigned a group. And it is our job to be with them as they are experiencing these difficult emotions. They help you think about your loved one, how you feel about your loved one, if you feel happy inside or sad. Licensed professionals supervise volunteers and closely monitor the needs of Bo's Place families. There are clinicians on the staff who design the programs and who help screen families coming in so that should a clinical service be needed, they'll both recognize it and make the appropriate referral. Families that have had their lives shattered from loss begin to rebuild through the tradition of sharing a meal with others. Each evening at Bo's Place begins with a potluck dinner and welcoming smiles. You're kind of warming them up getting them ready to go in so they can do what the facilitators need them to do to, to have them get through the process. More than just servers, kitchen volunteers are there to help anxious families feel comfortable. You can tell a new person that's walking in, and it's our responsibility to go in and try to make the transition. The warmth and care that's so much a part of Bo's Place can win over even the most reluctant parent. Every apprehension you could list, I had them all, you know. I mean, I went because my wife thought it was a really good thing to go do and because my son was having problems.
Daniel was just four when his older brother Nicholas died suddenly in an accident. Afterward, Daniel began having memory problems, and his parents needed help healing their broken family. When you lose a child, um, you're kind of flung into this, this club that no one wants to be a member of. And I think Bo's place made it safe for us just knowing that we weren't alone. While children meet in their matched groups, parents at Bo's Place benefit from the support of other adults who have had similar losses. Because helping the parent helps the child. It helped the healing process of our whole family. Daniel's memory returned, and at 13, he's now the older brother to Michael and Caleb. And though their loss was profound, Daniel and his family have honored the memory of Nicholas by rebuilding their lives. It helped me remember Nicholas, but helped me go forward. It was a very powerful experience for us. I hope other people who have gone through a tragedy such as this know that there is a place that can go, that they're not going to be alone, and that's both place. Out of loss can come hope, not from forgetting or letting go of love, but through sharing with others. At Bo's place, children are heard, and families can heal hearts that were broken. It doesn't look exactly the same, because you see the cracks, and you see the glue holding it together, but it's whole, and it looks nice. And the pieces do come together, it gives them the hope that they can get to a place to where they will have the beautiful life, they have the beautiful flower pot.